Hello everybody, Mark aka The Nerdy Punk with you again today for a new video. A um, little bit of a last minute video here today. As you can tell, <laughs> my attire is kind of odd. Um, that's because I'm getting ready to go to a Halloween themed party. So if you want to guess my costume, leave your guesses down below. I'll go ahead and give you the full thing real quick. There we go, there's the full costume. Leave your guesses down below. I feel like it's pretty obvious, but who knows? <laughs> anyway, the reason why I'm making this video, didn't expect to be making a video today. I went downstairs as I'm getting ready to leave and I saw this box with some goodies in it. Uh, this is my haul for the Criterion Collection flash sale, which occurred, I believe on Thursday, maybe. Uh, I'm getting my days confused this week. It's been a long week for me, um, but I forget the exact day. It may have actually been like Tuesday, not Thursday, because Thursday was Killers of the Flower Moon. Nonetheless, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the sale occurred at some point this week, the 24-hour flash sale for October, and uh, I went ahead and purchased four titles. Now, I said in the video I limited myself to three, but by the time I put those three titles in my cart, I was five bucks away from free shipping, and I had a $10 coupon because I signed up for the Criterion channel uh, this past month. So the Criterion channel is their streaming service. Quick kind of fun plug for that. Uh, it's, it's really cool. It's got a lot of great movies on it. Uh, it doesn't have the entire Criterion collection, but they have some uh, Criterion collection titles as well as some other titles um, to go along with it. But anyway, every time there's a flash sale through the Criterion website, if you're subscribed to the Criterion channel, you get a $10 coupon to use in that sale. So that came in handy for me as well, and that's why I ended up picking up four titles. So I'm gonna go through these really quickly. Um, I don't believe I've seen any of these before, so these will all be first time watches. First up, this was the must have for me, for the, or at least one of them for the sale, and that is Don't Look Now on 4K. Uh, this movie, like I said in the video, was uh, out of print for such a long time on Blu-ray. By the time I started collecting Criterion, this movie was already out of print. And it's a film from Nicholas Rogue. Uh, I have one of his movies, but I haven't seen it yet, so I haven't seen anything of his. I'm excited to, to check it out. Uh, I've heard amazing things about the performances in this movie and the almost realism of the film and how horrific it is. So <laughs> I'm really excited to watch this. I will definitely be watching this this month. Uh, to fit in for the spooky season. So as we approach Halloween, this will be one of my watches. Next title here, this may also be a Halloween watch, depending. I don't know if this really fits the vibe of Halloween, but there's a lot of horrific things in this movie from what I've heard. This is In the Realm of the Senses uh, from a Japanese director, 1976. Uh, it's directed by, let's see... Nagisa Oshima. I hope I pronounced that right. Not super familiar with their work, but uh, this is a movie that's based on a real life crime story. And uh, it's got, you know, some kind of romantic elements to it. It's heavily uh, sexual from what I hear. There's a lot of um, unsimulated sex scenes, I think, in this film, but it's not like a porn film. It's it's designed as a piece of art, not to say that pornography can't be art, but um, boy, this video is taking some weird turns. Uh, yeah, I, I've heard some really good things about this movie, and I'm excited to check it out. It seems really dark and insane, and I'm there for it. I'm going to check it out at least once. So here we go in the realm of the senses. May or may not watch this th that this month. We'll see. Next title here, another 4K release. Uh, this is Moon Age Daydream. This just came out, I think, the first week of October. And this is a movie from last year. Uh, it's a documentary about David Bowie, but it has a lot of like actual concert footage. Um, from what I hear, it feels kind of more like a montage concert film than it does an actual documentary. Um, but it, I've heard it also takes quite a few artistic liberties. So I'm excited to watch this. It comes in a really cool digipack. I wasn't sure if this was going to be a digipack release. Criterion hasn't done that many of those recently, so really excited to have this one. And then the final one, this was the fourth one that I added to my cart since I had that uh, $10 coupon, 
And I mentioned once again in my shopping video that I was interested in checking out John Cassavetes. Well, I just so happened to look up uh, what films were considered to be the best starting point for him. And this was near the top of the list. And it sounds interesting. So here we are. This is called Love Streams. It's one of Cassavetes' last films. Came, comes from 1984. Um, so it, basically it follows this relationship between these two characters, played by John Cassavetes, of course, and his real-life partner, I, I believe, from what I looked up, uh, Gina Rowlands. So I'm excited to watch this, check out some John Cassavetes, and see if he's kind of up my alley. I've heard nothing but incredible things, obviously, about him, so really excited for this one as well. A nice four-title haul from the Criterion sale. I didn't tell you spine numbers, so don't look now. Is spine 745, and it's from 1973. Uh, Love Streams is from 1984, and it is spine... 721. Sorry, the shrink wrap is bunching up around the spine on that one. Moon Age Daydream is from 2022, and it is spine 1192. So that'll probably be the most recent, well, it's definitely the most recent spine of our my collection, uh, for now anyway. And then In the Realm of the Senses from 1976, and it is spine 466. So for you Criterion collectors that enjoy Knowing the spine numbers of everything, there we are. Got a lot of lower spine numbers in this sale, with the exception of Moon Angel Daydream. All right, uh, we're going to wrap this video right here. Just wanted to get this out to you uh, and show you what I picked up in the sale. Sorry about the location of the video and my attire here, but uh, I made the best of the situation. Uh, hope you all have an amazing rest of your weekend. Happy Halloween season, and I will see you later.